At a time in the morning when I would usually be at work, I was heading in the opposite direction to Belfast to get the ferry to Kinryan in Scotland. As you can see, it was a dark and drizzly morning, and surprisingly, there were still a lot of people on the road. But we were heading to Scotland to go to Manchester, one of my favorite places ever. We boarded the ferry and got some coffee. And I took a little exploration around the Stena Line ferry. There were shops, a cinema, a place to just lounge around, get food, and just watch the world go by. As you can see, it was still dark and drizzly outside, but the waves were pleasant to watch. All too soon, we were already in Scotland and on our way. Following the sat nav, my brother drove all the way from Kernran to Manchester. And we skirted some of the most picturesque places in England and Scotland. We even skirted past the Lake District, which my brother has told me is one of the most beautiful places to drive through. But on this day, because it was so drizzly and disgusting, I didn't manage to get to see that beautiful landscape. The next day we headed in to the Trafford Centre, which is one of my most favourite places in the world. And this time I got to share it with my mum, because she came with us. After my dad passed away in November, we added our mom to the trip so that she could enjoy the entire place with us because she's never been to the Trafford Centre and she was just completely blown away by it. The architecture was beautiful, the little nuances were breathtaking, especially the New Orleans entrance to the food quarter is heavily based on New Orleans architecture and that whole bayou feel and I just love the way everything just pairs together to make it look like one of the most beautiful places within the entire complex. And then in the food quarter the entire thing is massive. You can fit an entire shopping center from Belfast within it and still have room to spare. In the center, there's the Orient, which is basically a ship in the middle of the food court. And it just keeps keep taking my breath away. And there are little stalls potted everywhere, especially this one. This is a flower stall. I just loved it. It's so dreamy and romantic, especially with Valentine's Day coming up. And of course we couldn't resist a little bit of shopping. And Selfridges is one of the places I make a beeline straight to every time that I'm in the Trafford Centre. The little murals on all of the walls and the water features just make the Trafford Centre for me. Especially the dolphin one, because I just love dolphins and it shoots water straight up into the air and the height that that water gets and yet still does not go anywhere on the floor. It's just fabulous and it's great to watch the little kids stare in awe at it and just squeal with delight. And then of course everybody drops pennies into every all of the fountains. Naturally I had to go to Millie's Cookies. My dog is called Millie and my best friend's little girl's nickname is Millie too. Then we went bowling, one of my family's favourite pastimes. And this is my mom getting a gutter ball. <laughs> this is my brother, attempting to get a spare but not quite. And behind us there were some dodgems. This takes me back to when I was little and we always played dodgems at the amusement site in Newcastle. And some more bowling and a spare from my mom. This is a score. It's tight between me and my mom, but I won. And I almost got a strike there, except for that one stupid little pin. I tried to get on a spare, but I failed. This is the second game, and again, it was between me and my mom. 
she won, but overall the scores meant that I won. So after a bit of shopping, as you can see, selfridges and boots bags, and my handbag just thrown down, I got ready for our night out. My brother and I were going to see Manchester United play Hull, and so I just decided to do my makeup. And I'm not going to bore you with all the details because I did another video on my channel, which is how I got ready for the match. So after going up plenty of stairs, we took our seats up in this stand and they drew nil nil. The following day, we then went on the stadium tour. And there were these little trivia panels all over the place asking questions for all the diehard fans that would know. I didn't know a lot of the answers, but I wasn't there for a quiz. So then we went on the tour and we saw the grass getting its treatment from the solar panels. Fun fact, it's a mixture between fake and artificial grass and we were up in that nosebleed area. And this is our guide. He was so knowledgeable and he made it so entertaining that you didn't feel like you were getting lectured at. We went into the player's dressing room which was so humble and so simple and that's the way Alex Ferguson designed it because his players were here to work, not to enjoy themselves. Which I think was a very good idea. Then we were down at the touchline and you can see all over the stadium. That's where the managers and everybody sit. And then we just watched a video of some of the greatest goals that Manchester United have ever got. Then a little bit of shopping. And then Sir Alex Ferguson way. And that's Old Trafford, if you didn't already guess by now. Then we just went into Manchester and then on the bus back out to where we were staying, we went past the set of Coronation Street. You can just see the back of the set there, just where all the houses are in on the set. And yeah, I my mum really enjoyed that because like we watched Coronation Street together when we were eating dinner all the time. And then there's just the Trafford Centre. And then we headed home on the Friday. And again, a dark and miserable night with heavy rain. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and this type of video. And don't forget to subscribe and I will see you again soon.